Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are doing a tag. An original tag, yes, another original tag. I was on a kick the other day. This is the Damn I'm Old book tag. Um, so there's a few people out there that this is perfect for and I would love to hear your answers. So first, what was the first big book release you remember? And this could be two different ones. Actually, it probably is more than two different ones. But being a kid in the 80s, the big book releases that I would hear about, um, and like especially the media with Entertainment Tonight, you know, with um, John Tesh and Mary Hart, um, would probably be either, it was probably Stephen King. And I can't remember what book, but like the whole like Stephen King, Dean Koontz, Clive Barker, like it probably wasn't Clive Barker, but it was probably, it's probably safe to say it was either King or Koontz. Um, I remember seeing it on E.T. that um, there were lines around the building and they didn't have enough of the books to like keep um the supply was smaller than the demand um my mom used to love danielle steel and would get danielle steel books whenever they came out and i remember I'm trying to remember the name of the book the cover was either white or silver and i think the lettering was blue but i can't remember the name of the book but um, we went out the day it came out. She wanted to get it, and they were out at the first bookstore we went to. And so then we went to another, and she was pissed. My mom was like, how fucking dare you not have the fucking book I come to get? Um, it might not have been the first day. It might have been the first week it was out. And then we went to another bookstore, and I think they were out there too. And my mom was just like livid and just like, I'll just wait then. Like, oh, you, you show this minimum wage employee mom, you know, go get them. Next, number two, what's the first author interview you remember? And um, this is an interview on TV. And I don't remember what show it was, but it had to have been Allen Ginsberg. I can't... Um, I can't remember ever seeing somebody like Stephen King or anything like that. So yeah, it had to it had to have been Allen Ginsberg. And I said in a video a few days back that like before I knew like what a poet was or what poetry was, I remember seeing him on the TV and I think I even thought to myself as a kid, I'm like, wow, he didn't really try to like clean himself up for TV that that's weird and so I remember that was kind of endearing for me but then I also remember my parents being kind of disgusted that he was being interviewed on whatever fucking show we were watching um, and I didn't know why um, and now looking back on it I probably have an idea but um, yeah I remember they were just kind of like ugh about it which probably made it stand out more in my mind so the first book craze you remember um and for me the first big book craze that like everyone i knew was a part of was the choose your own adventure books this was such a big fucking deal and the scholastic um book catalogs you got in school like helped tremendously and there was some place maybe it was just the grocery store that they would sell them at the grocery store because I remember I have one of them around here somewhere it's Return of the Ninja and um, that wasn't even my favorite one but it was the newest looking one because the covers changed it used to be like choose your own adventure and then once they put out enough, then it was like bigger pictures and choose your own adventure across the top. 
but um, that was a huge fucking thing. And like me and my friends would read them, and my friends would get some, I would get some, we would read them, and then we would trade to see what kind of different endings we would get, and all that stuff. Um, the first adaptation you remember of a movie or made for TV movie or anything like that. Um, this is weird because for a long time when I was a kid, I didn't realize that a lot of movies were based on books that never like sunk into my head. So if I would have known that and understood that I'm sure the first one would have been Frankenstein or even Dracula because I would watch those old movies um, on KTLA 5 and KCAL 9 on the weekends for the Saturday and Sunday matinees. So that would have been like the first bit of those I would have got. But the first time I knew that the thing that everyone was talking about was based on a book. And I'm trying to remember why, because I did the research on this. But the answer to this would be Roots. Now, Roots came out, originally the miniseries, in like 1977, the year before I was born. But sometime in the 80s, and a quick Google search did not help me here, but sometime in the 80s, I don't know why, but something happened to that caused the um, replay of the miniseries. And I don't know if, like, there was another book or um, there was a movie or uh, I, I can't remember what happened. But, um, again, it was all over Entertainment Tonight and um, people talking about the significance of it, people talking about... Um, why it's important that people who haven't seen it see it um and all sorts of shit and um then we watched it like my family like i remember like i can't remember how they played it but i remember every time it was on like the family got together to watch it so it was um but that was the first time i ever realized I'm watching something that was a book. Like, I didn't... I don't know. Like, it didn't make sense to me before that. Okay. The first convention you went to that was book-related. I wish I could remember where I was, where it was, and what it was called. But the first convention I remember going to, it was either just a sci-fi convention or it was a Star Trek convention. And I remember because um, my dad got me a little um, enamel pin of the USS Enterprise that I um, immediately lost, like, over the next week. And because um, I was a fucking kid and my dad never let me live that down. He's like, do you know how much that would have been worth? God, I can't believe you lost something so valuable and, blah, 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 and all this other shit. But anyway, <clears throat> the reason why this convention sticks out to me so bad is because it was kind of like going to Disneyland where um, like you're just walking down Main Street and holy shit, there's Mickey Mouse. Oh my God, there's Snow White. It's like I was walking through this big fucking room full of tables and crap and there is someone from Star Trek. And there is someone from what? V. Because V was a hit miniseries at the time. I probably could have used that as my first miniseries. But I don't think I knew that there was a book. And I don't know if the book came before or after. Anyway. Um, but there, I think like some of the people from V were having a panel or something they, they were there and um, there were people in the like red jumpsuits walking around so I immediately thought that they were fucking lizard people and I was fucking terrified but then 
there was like this like toy seller guy who had these like 12 inch V figures that had a removable face to show their reptilian head. And I wanted it so fucking bad. And my dad wouldn't get it for me. And I was fucking pissed. I was a spoiled little shit. So he didn't get me the $8 figure, but he bought me the dollar pin that he was pissed off at that I lost. So whatever. So any of you like history aficionados, it was probably in the Southern California area. More likely than not in the Los Angeles area. If you can figure out in the mid 80s, roughly, what convention I was at that may possibly have had the cast of V at. If you could figure that out and let me know, that would be so fucking amazing. So the first book club or buddy read I ever did. I don't consider the Choose Your Own Adventure ones buddy reads because we were reading different books and then we would swap. But um, maybe that's a book club. But um, the first time I was like reading a book with other people and it wasn't because of school was me and my buddy Chris reading um, the Vonnegut books. And um, that's how I got into Vonnegut and the whole fucking thing. So I was like 18 17, 18. Absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. That was just some fucking great times reading, like, Breakfast of Champions and Cat's Cradle. Um, what else did we do? I think we did Sirens of Titan, Slapstick. I don't think we did Mother Night. We might have done Player Piano. Uh, did we do Galapagos? I don't remember. But we, we did a few of them, like, in a row, and it was just a blast. Okay, here's a great question. How much was the first Columbia House type book club that you would see an ad for in a mailer or in a magazine or in a paperback book you had? Um, what was the first price? Like, what was the first deal? The first thing like that I remember, I think, was five books for a dollar. And if you're too young to know what the fuck I'm talking about, there was this scam, and they did it with movies, they did it with CDs, they did it with cassette tapes, they did it with books, where they're like, hey, send me your fucking credit card number or your address, and I'm going to give you 12 cassette tapes for a penny just a penny and you're like that's a fucking good deal but then the next part is and then every month I'm going to send you a new tape and it's only going to cost you like 20 bucks instead of like seven ninety nine, like most cassettes would cost okay and you know what if you see it and you're like yeah I don't want this just send it back and you won't be billed. But if you don't send it back, we're going to send you a bill. And you have to pay it. Or else we're going to send you to fucking collections and make your life hell. So, what was the first one of those you saw for books? Again, I think it was five. It was either four books or five books for a dollar. Was the one I saw. Um, what's your favorite small book chain that isn't around anymore? Or that you just don't see anymore. This one was tricky because I thought for sure it was Walden Books. But then the more I thought about it, it might have been B. Dalton. I can't remember if it was Walden Books or B. Dalton Booksellers. Um, but it was in the fucking basement of the Buena Park Mall. In the really dark section right before the food court. And um, it was terrifying. So basically, whenever I needed like a book for school or something like that, that I needed, I would. That's where I would go. And um, I'm sure the Boyna Park Mall isn't as fucking gloomy as it used to be. But motherfucker, you go in on the what side is that? 
I don't know. I guess it would be like the south side or the west side of the mall. I think it's next to Sears. I don't know. There was also a fucking Gemco or a Zodi's over there. So that tells you how long it's been since I've been there. But you fucking, you go through the doors and you open the door and it's just an escalator that goes down. And you're like, oh. So then you take the escalator and now you're in the mall. But you're on the bottom floor of the mall. Underground, under the earth, okay, is the part of the mall you're in now. And um, for some reason, it was so fucking dark. Maybe because it was subterranean. But, like, even with the lights they had, it was so dark. And the first job I ever had was at the food court in that mall. And it was so dark in the food court. It was like you were in, you were walking down the aisle in a movie theater right when the lights first go down and the movie's about to start. That's what the fucking whole downstairs of the Buena Park Mall used to look like. Anyway, but I can't remember if it was B. Dalton or Walden Books. Like, up until about 20 minutes ago, I thought it was Walden Books. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh shit, is it B. Dalton? So, like, I, I can't remember. But whatever that dark, depressing, scary bookstore next to the shop that sold swords and pewter wizards, um, that's the, the shop I used to go to. Um, and then finally, what is the first item that you bought at a Barnes & Noble or a Borders? Like one of those like mega box bookstores. And I remember going and it's so funny because the Barnes and Noble I'm about to mention right now is probably the smallest Barnes and Noble I've ever been in. But when I first saw that bookstore, I thought I was in a fucking giant cathedral and it's seriously the saddest looking Barnes and Noble I've ever seen. But um, it was at the Tustin Marketplace. Almost 100% it was at the Tustin Marketplace. It was on the end, right near the parking lot. And it's just a one story, no frills Barnes and Noble. But it was the biggest bookstore I had ever been in. It was bigger than a library. Um, or bigger than any library I had been in. Up until that point. And I was so impressed with it. And I went in and I got... Um, a William Blake art book. Like a, a book of William Blake's paintings and criticism of that. And um, Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience by William Blake. I was on a William Blake kick. The, um, I still have those books. I should have had them here for the video. Because I got them a gajillion fucking years ago. But, um, yeah, so anyway. Um, William Blake, I was super into him for a bit there. I don't know how I got into William Blake. Because it wouldn't have been that, but th that was like me going, I'm into poetry and this is like, I'm so fancy, William Blake. Uh, um, yeah, anyway. So, um, who do I tag? I want to tag a bunch of old fuckers. Fuckers who are as old, if not older than I am. So you know who you are, old fuckers. God damn it. I know there's a lot of older booktubers on here. Where the fuck are you guys? Anyway, um, if you were born before 1980, you are tagged. That's how we'll do this. If you are born before 1980, you are tagged in this video. If you are born after 1980, do this video anyway, just so I can hear you say stuff like, I don't know what the fuck this means, but da -da 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 -da. I would love to hear that as well. So until next time, everybody. Wubba, wubba, wubba. Goodbye and God bless. I will see you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.